Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So today's video is going to be a short one. There are just some terms I want to define that I've used lately, and I want to make sure we all are on the same page. So today's video, I'm just going to define supply, return, ventilation, and exhaust air. So let's get started. So if you're in an office, it seems pretty clear that the supply air is coming into the office and the return air is leaving the office. We've talked about supply air coming from the air handler and I've mentioned the return air going back to the air handler, but let's look at this again. So let's draw a quick little system here. Let's, this is the air handler with the fan supplying air into the ductwork and it eventually goes through a diffuser and into the office that you're in. Now, obviously, I left a lot of the system out, but let's also put in a return. So the supply air comes in through the air handler, supplies the space. And now let's duct our return back to the air handler as well. And the return air comes out and, in this case, goes into the air handler. Now let's put an outside air opening in our air handler, and we'll put a damper in there. And now this is the outside air, also known as ventilation air. ASHRAE has requirements for how much ventilation air you need to bring into a space. That's all covered in ASHRAE 62.1. The return air can be mixed with the outside air and go back through the system and become supply air. The return air can also be taken straight to the outside. So let's put a damper here that would control it going into our hair handler. And we'll put another damper over here that will go back outside the building. And now this is exhaust air. There would probably also be an exhaust fan, but I didn't draw that in. ASHRAE also has requirements for exhaust air and what types of air need to be exhausted. So there you have the different types of air moving through your HVAC system. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.